The pose which is compensating sitting many hours in a western way. It has a very beautiful name, it's called the butterfly pose. Uh, or sometimes we also call it a Bhatka Konasana, like the open corner pose. It's very good for our hip joints and it's very good for the, all the pelvis organs. Which, and it's a number one pose to uh, relieve the menstrual pain or to support uh, the hormones in any period of uh, women's cycle, of women's life, but also it's very good for men's health. How we do this pose? We put our feet together and for some people it's already enough challenge. So what I recommend when you first try this pose, do it leaning with your back on the wall or this is a pose you can do also on your couch. So get some back support, but if you can sit like that comfortably, you don't need back support. It's for people who are just starting or there are some back issues. Again, if you have any doubts if this pose is suitable for you, consult with your Ayurveda practitioner or yoga practitioner. So we sit down and we try to put our feet together facing each other like that like i am showing now so for in this pose we also use mudra and we have our arms uh, hands like this palms like this and we get them here otherwise if you are just a beginner or this pose gives you a lot of discomfort but you all want to get its benefits you can use some props to support your knees on the floor like I will get my water bottle now. You can use your couch or pile of books. But since it's a butterfly and you are comfortable in the position, remember that butterfly is always swinging its wings. So the very best practice in this pose is to do these little wings. And you can sit like that while you are watching advert or uh, between your favorite TV series or put on some music and do it three, four minutes in a row. It will do the maximum benefit for you. And now I will show you one more dynamic position, which is very good, both for our uh, cycle and also for our mood. Like, the Yogi Bhajan has said about this pose that it's very good to release a depression. We sit in a traditional pose, in an easy pose, so called Sukhasan. And we will act like uh, drummers on a wedding. But instead of drums, we will have our hips. We can put on some bhangra, bhangra and we do our drums like that. Don't be too gentle with yourself, you should feel it. And do it for 3-5 minutes. You will see that all your bad mood and heavy thoughts will be drummed away by this practice. If you want it more challenging, you can put your foot like that and do drumming like that. But that's what I wouldn't recommend to start with yourself some time to adjust to this. Okay, so Alina, as you have mentioned that the leg day in gym, mm -hmm. so I want to ask you that do you think the gym is better or yoga is better? I think each has its own place in yes. our daily life. Okay. Because what we do in gym uh, now, we compensate the absence of, of the hard physical work for most of us yeah because we are doing like setting jobs nine to five nine to six yeah and we are not even cycling now we are not even swimming i do <laughs> yeah. that also but occasionally yes yes yeah? or once in a week or twice yes a week. but we, we not many people yeah. 
are doing as, that. As in the ancient time, if we talk about Indians, as well as I think the foreigners, mm -hmm. they used to like swim to some places. Yes. Because there were no machines, no like uh, boats or crews, anything. They were walking and carrying weights. Yeah, and they were walking, they were cycling. Yes. Because there were no motorbikes or cars, anything, right? Exactly. So that's that also plays a great role. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, we were talking about the gym and yoga. Yeah. So yeah, both have the same place. Like uh, gym is important on yes. one part and yoga is on one. But when one can do nothing, yeah. at least they should start with yoga. Right? I'm quite uh, quite sure and that's yeah. also a part of my journey yeah that when I was recovering after physical uh, quite a serious accident yes first came yoga and then gym yeah because uh, you can't go outside or step outside outside for like heavy machines yes heavy weights yes yeah but you can do like breathing exercises sitting asanas exactly right on hospital bed as well absolutely yeah even if you try to avoid it by all means but life happens yeah and yes and yoga can be started in uh, even when you are bound to bed yeah so the people and especially for the people who say that we don't get time you might not get time to go to the gym and exercise but you can always have have time to do yoga like alina has explained us really well while working on our desk or while watching TV or before having food. Yes. Yeah. And it, before it's important. First. Yeah, it's important. Or even while having our morning cup of tea. Yes. Right after that or before that, we can do for 10 to 15 minutes. Well, and that's a piece of yoga where I want to give a small advice yeah that uh, even if you start yoga something complementing your life and it's better to do some yoga while watching tv than okay. no yoga at all yes but watching exactly. tv <laughs> exactly however yoga is uh, something you need to treat with respect yes and uh, in the uh, west i know there are sometimes uh, the situations where yoga is not treated with respect and it hurts my heart because i i am very passionate about yoga yeah so when we are connected to one thing yes we actually feel about it yes yeah so i suggest that you have these five seven five or ten minutes with dedication for yoga sure and you can even uh, do this while watching our video with exactly Alina already and you can watch this daily you can save for later and you can watch daily and can have like 10 to 15 minutes of yoga and with the fun we are sharing with you yes but dedication doesn't exclude fun yeah <laughs> <laughs> dedication and fun can go together absolutely yeah. okay so now coming towards the last part of the video the session the whole yoga session with alina so that we always ignore that's mm. our feet health yes and no doubt our feet are the main part of our life because without them we can't go anywhere yes and we can't do anything that we are doing for ourselves uh, we are more wearing the sports wear sports shoes yeah because before uh, particularly women were torturing their feet with uh, for the sake of the beauty yeah uh, whereas I was watching you know I was used to work in the office and I was watching those girls on the high heels coming proudly to the office and then I was watching how they are walking at the end of the working day yeah and that was a completely different type of walking and that does not only make your feet uh, like it does not only make your feet pain yes but also the whole body absolutely absolutely yeah, it disturbs your body structure as well yes right okay so first thing is not to wear heels you can wear heels occasionally in parties yes like yeah. for half an hour one hour or two hours but yes. not more than that right? yes or when yeah. you are on stage you, yeah i can't can. avoid heels yeah. when i'm you coming can. on stage exactly you can but it's better to do some exercises or some postures for your feet health yes okay and uh, you can do uh, the 
exercises or postures for your feet even sitting on your couch and okay. i will see some dynamic exercises for the ankle which will be also beneficial for your feet okay it will be some rotation okay in the ankle okay and also i will show the very basic pose from outside which is called the mountain pose okay but uh, when you do it with a dedication and with your inward attention you will see that your feet are working a lot for a uh, good and healthy posture okay and one more trick for confidence because we are all looking for confidence exactly. nowadays that if you are in front of people and that's more a mental trick a mental yoga now if you are in front of people and you want to feel confident while you're speaking to them focus your attention on your feet yeah that's a trick and the second trick which comes actually from gangotri okay. i was i was taught it by a, a guru from a gangotri okay that when you want to quickly fall asleep while you are laying in your bed imagine that you are exhaling to a big toe of your right feet after okay. eight or ten exhales you will see that you will fall asleep peacefully so powerful our feet are okay so that's a trick for feet as well as for a sound sleep yes okay and last but not least i want to talk to you about our feet our modern lifestyle modern footwear modern habits of being wearing foot all day and rarely going barefoot a lot of things are hurting our feet so feet is very important not just for wearing nice shoes feet is important for our overall being for our straight spine our healthy posture and health of all other joints so we need to take care of them and we need to take care of them every day especially after wearing uncomfortable shoes or wearing shoes for a long time high heels or others and our foot has a lot of uh, small joints and i will show you a very simple routine to exercise your feet and to keep them healthy and alive not just confined in a narrow uncomfortable shoes and we start with right foot if you need your balance is not perfect hold on something and lift your foot from and do the rotation clockwise seven eight and now anti-clockwise two three seven eight do it with other foot we do towards left eight times and towards right next is the closest connected joint which are our knees for our health of our foot it's also very important and there is observation when knee joints are somehow hurtful our feet suffer as well so we will move an anti-clockwise way our knee joint find yourself something to hold on if you need and do the small rotation one direction eight times eight and other direction two three four five six seven and do it with your left leg as well outwards five six seven eight inwards for three four five six seven eight and we can finish this with a little gentle and very efficient stretch for our feet ankle we put our foot on our toes 
like this and for somebody it's already a big stretch because we normally don't do put it like that in a shoe so we put it on the fingers a little bit the foot forward be gentle your foot feels if you do it several times during the daytime your foot will thank you and that small exercise but very powerful And we'll do it on the other side. Again, put your touch and feel how much stretch is a Okay. And last but not least, you can do a classical yoga pose, which is a mountain pose or tadasana. Put your foot about a foot width apart, facing straight, feel your heels on the floor, feel all your toes on the floor, spread them if you can, straighten your back, close your eyes and do a little swing forward and backward. And let your foot find the perfect balance for your whole body. When you find it, you can do a little rotation movement and feel again how your feet is finding a balance. Between Bo's foot and straighten your back again. And that's a whole routine from head to toe, from inside, outside and from inside. Thank you for watching and stay connected with Planet Ayurveda channel for more lifestyle and health content okay so we have almost covered the yoga asanas for our whole body that's from head to toe and as alina explained it every time that all the yoga asanas are beneficial for our overall health as well but mainly targeting one or two organs of the body right yes yeah so at the end of the video alina uh, your message to people about yoga my message is be like children be courageous uh, be curious and uh, accept your mistakes readily okay because there are only you learn by your mistakes and only two mistakes should be avoided mistakes that uh, the consequences you cannot change or mistakes uh, which uh, you keep repeating and one of the mistakes you will be repeating is doing nothing after watching this video not trying anything we shared today okay so stay connected with us and we also have many videos uploaded with uh, acupressure points for all body parts that you can do anywhere and everywhere without even being in the yoga asanas so stay connected with planet ayurveda and keep watching thank you getting the benefits of natural ayurvedic treatment is so easy now no worries about traveling and lodging expenses no need to delay your traveling plan to india or any other country for doctor's appointment due to other work commitments no stress of embassy and other legal permissions save your time and money avail online good effective ayurvedic consultation from top ayurveda experts at www.planetayurveda.com your best friend for a healthier happier and wealthier life
needs. Experienced team of Ayurveda doctors with effective skills to help you follow Ayurvedic principles of healthy living. Private, personalized and online mode of consultation in the comfort of your home. Exclusive Ayurvedic clinics, centers, branches and outlets worldwide. Worldwide home delivery of pure natural herbal supplements available. Book video consultation now with MD Ayurveda experts. Call or drop a WhatsApp message on any of the helpline numbers on your screens. Fatty liver, liver cirrhosis, ulcerative colitis, ITP, chronic kidney, skin, lung diseases, neck, back, knee pains, arthritis, psoriasis, migraine, gynae problems, diabetes, belly fat, scleroderma, various types of cancers or any problem. Only one solution www.planetayurveda.com Not just this, adopt and follow natural Ayurveda and spread it with people around you for a healthier and disease-free planet. For franchisee, visit now www.planetayurveda.com